Welcome back. Patty Stanger, best known as the millionaire matchmaker, sort of the Simon Cowell of dating, has been hooking up people for decades. Please welcome millionaire matchmaker, Patty Stanger. First, let's start with the racy photos, the Stanger. I mean, they were quite revealing. You know, uh, you got to get flaunted. When you lose the weight, you feel so good about yourself. You know, um, Sensa, where I, you know, I'm, I'm the spokesperson from it, but I actually lost the weight first before I became the spokesperson. Yes, it works. I, I kept going down and down and down. And so my stylist dared me. Really? She brought the well, Dolce Gabbana, so she dared me. You yeah. bring up a good point mm -hmm. that when you when you have a change in appearance mm -hmm. and you feel better, mm -hmm. you really feel like, wow, I, I'm I'm sexy. Yeah, you know, that's what happens. You want to reveal it all. So uh, Lisa, wherever you are, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix her up. She's the next one. We're gonna get her going. Lisa, I watch the segment. I'm here to help. Yay! Yeah. Good. Okay. Because Welchel is yeah. this great woman. I know, we should put our million matchmaker. So I'm going to give her an invitation right now. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to accept for her. Will you come right on now. as the guest judge? Guest judge! And you and I will vet the guys for her. Do you like that? I, I'm open to that. Okay, yes. Cool. Cool. So now tell us about your guy. We saw David. Oh, okay, so, um, never took my advice in history. Okay, I got an intervention. You never took your advice. No, my family, my friends did an intervention. You know, you're in your 50s, why are you single? You've never been married, la, la, la. And so I finally said, well, I never did my book, Become Your Own Matchmaker. I always did it for my clients. Took all the steps in the book, went online, plenty of fish, real website out there, anybody can try I it. I love that And you, I found my boyfriend that way. But I, I love that you went on plenty of fish. Yes. Yeah, yeah I've used it. I agree. It's a yeah. great way to But your to wife people. I met backstage, and she is some hottie for chatty. My wife yeah. is she a She is a good one. Honey. Good one. Is that fun for you to have a slight role reversal? I had so much fun. I was like, where, where do I sign up for the housewives? You know? Because it was like that kind of experience. Like, yeah. our show's formatted. We have 45 minutes to get everybody in. Nobody ever gets to see my personal life. Hopefully, Bravo will let me as seasons go on. And I had the best time ever. And yeah. now, what is, we mentioned the gluten-free sake. Because yes. Lisa's figuring out she needs to be gluten-free. Mm -hmm. And everyone, all of a sudden, has to be gluten-free. Um, I get headaches, severe cluster headaches. Jenny McCarthy comes to me and she's like, you know, with autism, it works for the kids on autism and they also get headaches. So I tried it and it was like all of a sudden my life changed. My headaches went away. Um, I felt better about myself. Going gluten free. Yeah, now that's for me. But so you and CeeLo Green from yes. The Voice. Correct. We own this sake company together. I want to taste yeah. this. Bring it out. She's brought a bottle of, it's called Taiku, T-Y-K-U, Taiku Sake. Yeah. And the, and the good thing you about good you know, very handsome, by the way. So the good thing about sake is it's romantic. So what you're supposed to do? Okay. Really, uh, hopefully your staff took the bottle top off again. Okay. So I'm gonna pour for you, okay. and then you pour for me because that's the romantic okay. tradition. This also needs to know yeah. this stuff. Okay. So here we go. One little thing. Now sake is traditionally served cold, not hot. That's the good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so we're gonna. Okay, now we're going to switch. Okay. Okay, because I take yours, you take mine. Okay, come five. Cheers. Mmm. That's the coconut. We have six flavors. That's pretty good. You can pour this over ice. I'm not ice. a good liar. It's pretty good. Yeah, you can pour it over ice. You and CeeLo know what you're doing. All right, Patty has brought a bottle of Taiku sake for everybody in the audience. If you're old enough to drink. When we come back, behind the scenes secrets from Millionaire Matchmaker. Be right back. You're, you're, you're known for saying things that get people talking. No, I never said that. Want more from the Jeff Brope Show? Get exclusive behind the scenes footage and watch your favorite moments from the show whenever you want at jeffbropes.com. To WW. How do you figure that is? Woodrow Wilson, Willy Wonka, Walter White. I'm scared. Scared of what? You. How many more people are going to die because of us? No! It's time to tell the truth. What are you going to do to stop me? Say my name. Eisenberg. 
You're damn right. Breaking Bad, the final episode, premieres this Sunday at 9, only on AMC. Uh, that's a clip from Bravo's Matt Millionaire Matchmaker. You got a lot of um, O's from the yeah. audience. That's your that's your real life. That's my real life. So you're becoming a, more a part of the show. Mm -hmm. And so you said something interesting that you you think maybe because you were given up for adoption mm -hmm. that maybe that's why it's taking you longer to find love. Um, abandon an issue. Always trying to please the men in our lives, picking the wrong ones who love to abandon us. So you know, self fulfilling prophecy. Is part of the show showing us what happens, or do you? Or you yes, tell we, us? I can't tell you. You've got to watch the season because I'm not allowed to. But there's a lot of information there. You'll be shocked. Yeah, it's really good. Hmm. Yeah. One of the things, like even the, you're pretty body on the show. You, you, you're, you're known for saying things that get people talking. Really? Do, do you ever <laughs> regret? Well, for me, coming into the daytime world, it's scrutinized a lot more. Yes, Everything correct. you say. Mm -hmm. I, these are just some of the things that our producers wrote oh down. I want God. to ask about. Because sometimes comments are taken out of context. Correct. That's what people on reality shows always tell me. Yeah. I didn't say that. I mean, I did, but I said something else. It was different but, the way yeah, it was said. If you've seen the real thing, you understand. Have you seen the Hill selectively edited, as we like to call it? <laughs> yes. The only people who never complain about editing are the people who come off great. Okay. <laughs> Jewish men lie. Oh my God, I can't believe we're going back to. No, it was this girl had called in to watch what happens, and she was like, this Jewish guy, and he constantly kept lying, and I said, what does he do? And he's, I think he was a lawyer or something. They lie, you know, I mean, like, that's what their job is. But it wasn't supposed to be like Jew all Jewish men lying, and nobody else does. So that's why. It was a caller calling in, I was only talking to her. What about men don't like curls or redheads? Well, m the millionaire men that have come into the club, Millionaire's Club, have not liked redheads, but. This season, we do something special for the redheads, a whole episode for them, and I like redheads. Yay! Not for me, it's the millionaire men. Okay. Now, the what curls, do they I'm rocking the surfer curls here. So. What do the millionaire men prefer? They like straight hair, um, they like blondes and brunettes, and um, they like silky hair, they can put their hands through it. That's what they like. That's <laughs> men what they are ask awesome. Me for. We are just And they awesome. tell me, they tell me all their crap, so I learn the truth about what they think. Yeah, you do. It's the, the Pandora's box. Oh, it is ugly. One it's last ugly. comment. You can't help women over 45. No, I never said that. That is not a truth. I'm over 45. Of course that I can. That was my point. No, I said that when a woman's over 45, if she doesn't pay attention to my rules, lose weight, you know, gets her zhuzh on, like, so to speak, like, she, she puts her sexuality out there. When they come in all buttoned up, and Taylor fit and Frumpty Dumpty where the tent dress is out to here. What am I supposed to so do with So you're that? saying when you were at 45, you've got to be a part of the Honey, party. Honey, you've got like to show the assets. There's right. no way. A man is buy not buying a car. You're right. showing the assets a lot more now. Right. Yourself. All right. Well, a lot of people on Valentine's Day are going to get flowers, right? That's a yes. big thing. People they, like to If do they that. don't, they're not going to be going out anymore. That is so nice. And true. jewelry is even better. We want jewelry. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm so disconnected. Well, Pro Flowers is going to deliver more than a million bouquets just today. And so that you wow. guys can send flowers to the ones you love, oh. Pro Flowers is giving everyone in the audience a $50 gift certificate. Yeah. Find a giveaway day here. We'll be right back. We're awesome. about to try to set a kissing ring. To WW. How do you figure that is? Woodrow Wilson, Willy Wonka, Walter White. I'm scared. Scared of what? You. How many more people are gonna die because of us? No! It's time to tell the truth. What are you gonna do to stop me? Say my name. Eisenberg. You're damn right. Breaking Bad, the final episode, premieres this Sunday at 9, only on AMC. In November, we paired Chef Devin Alexander with three matchmakers to see if they could find her the man of her dreams. Well, I just want someone who loves their own life. Now we're checking in to see how Devin's love life is going. I promised myself that I was really going to focus on love. On the matchmaking show, I met TK and uh, Jim, both of whom were super cute and energetic and really sweet people, but not exactly in the same place in life that I am. I'm looking for someone who's really following their dreams. And I also want children. You know, I'm just keeping my options open. And then, of course, Jordan, my assistant, who's like the ultimate wing girl, she's always on the lookout. <laughs> Good luck, 
Devin. We love Devin. All right, so a, a few months ago, we had a singles mixer on our show, and we met Malik and Marilee, and they met each other. So there's some B-roll of them at the um, actual event, and they're here with us today. They're together. They are a couple. They haven't, they, you guys have been together since that night, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, what are the odds of that? You show up to this random single thing, and you actually find somebody. Exactly. I was actually just going just to find friends. I wasn't looking for nobody, but that's, yeah, and exactly. I was going to network, so I was, you know, had my own. And I found a good friend. Oh Who you're dating. God. Exactly. All right. I hope you're dating because you're about to try to set a kissing record. I hope we dating. <laughs> okay. But to be clear, you are a couple. Yes. yes. Okay. You're just saying she's also your friend. Yes. Exactly. Got it. First and foremost. Okay. Mike is here from Guinness Book of World Records. So, we heard recently that on The Bachelor, the show with Chris Harrison, the great Bachelor show, two people broke the world record for the longest screen kiss. And since it's Valentine's Day, and you guys are, are such a, a fun-loving couple, we thought we'd give you the chance to break the record. What's the current record, Mike? Three minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, so, are you guys ready for this? Yeah. You want, you want some... You, I got a little chapstick so you can moisten your lips. And this is cake batter. It's a new, a new flavor from uh, chapstick. So, load up, Malik. <laughs> Marilee, you, you look good. You're fine. Okay, moist. You good, moist. Put too much. <laughs> okay, so this is for real. Yes. He's got a clock and he's watching. The only rule is your lips have to stay touching for three minutes twenty three seconds. That's right. That's to a break. New, that's a new record. Yep. Okay, you start it when you're ready. Right. You guys ready? Yeah. Good luck. We'll start in three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, baby. She's oh moving. my God. She's moving. She's on the move. Now I will <laughs> say, I can keep those lips together. Don't do any of that parting to breathe. Breathe through your nose. Breathe through your nose. And also, you need to know there are rules in daytime. They are going to abide by all of them. This is a very PG kiss. This is like the old Dick Van Dyke show where they had separate beds. Don't laugh because you're going to break it. Now, like, just... This is the voyeuristic she, part of the show. Why does she look like she's, like, she's like the, the leading here. She's pulling it through. Look. This... He's staying positioned, and she's going in for the kill. I am afraid they're going to blow it, because they're going to get so excited with each other. No, I can't. All right, Mike's watching them. Tell me this. Uh -huh. In dating, look at that. It's a great kiss. I am a freak. I'm a voyeur. He can't, like, stop watching. I just can't watching. stop watching. Okay, well, look at it, and then tell me. Okay, okay so kissing is clearly important in relationships. Yes, um, there's a scientific fact. When a girl and a man kiss, her saliva must intermingle with his to get us juicy goosey downstairs because he's got testosterone and if you don't kiss that way she cannot get juicy. Clearly Patty forgets we're on daytime and I not a millionaire matchmaker. Fact. It's a science. That's why we always say we know it's the one. Well it's in the kiss just like the song. It's in the kiss. It's in the kiss. It's all in the kiss baby. And when when you're in this world mm -hmm. and you've got this going on they met at a mixer. Right. That's great because that's real people together but so oh. many things right now are online as you talked about what is the, what is technology? I'm drawn, it's like a mess. Like, can I be honest I'm with you? She's to amazing at kissing. I mean, like, he's staying, he's the anchor, and she's moving it and getting him and going. You know, like, you can just see it. Look at it. It's, like, funny. She's moving her head a lot. But go on. So, well, <laughs> what I was going to get at is technology, mm -hmm. like, online dating. Yes, texting, you're not, sexting, yeah, the whole thing. Right, yes, sexting, exactly. You're not getting this one-on-one. No, one -on -one. And, and by the way, if you're online and you meet someone online and you've never met them in person, Catfish 101, He's not a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever you want to call it. That's baloney. You have to meet the person in person. How, what if they live in another state? You give it like, look, if a guy wants a girl, he moves heaven and earth 101 to get to see her, right? Like, right? Am I right? JetBlue, Virgin, I don't care what airline you take, okay? The other thing you have to remember is that sexting is not a date. People set up these dates at night going, we're going to sex. And I go, that's not a date. That's virtual. You know, that's not like meeting the person again. You can't forget that we do need to touch and feel. Well, and the taste. other thing with sexting is that it, it gets confusing because there's dating and then there's hooking up. Right? Right. Dating is a little ambiguous now. Yeah, well, hooking up is hooking up. I mean, you know. Hooking up but is I'm hooking up. Sexting. I'm like, you notice my mind is going because I can't talk in daytime like I talk at matchmaker. Yeah, hooking up is sex. 
Okay, it's so us. how do you know when you're meeting a guy online or whatever, whether he's looking for the hookup or the actual date in romance? When he asks you to meet after 11 o'clock at night, right? We're getting very close. We're right. watching the clock. Okay, when he doesn't offer to buy you dinner or drinks and cares about your welfare, you're going to get home safe at night, okay? Okay. When he only we gotta cares do the about... we got to do the countdown. Sex. Five, five, six. You got to hit 323, two, one. one. They've done it? Yeah! Are they good, Mike? Oh my God! Is it good? It's, it's, official. it's official. It's official. We have the new world record. Woo! Oh my God! This is exciting. Incredible. This is exciting. Half the audience is so turned on they want to go home. You have an official certificate from the Guinness World Records oh, saying now World certified, record. you guys. It's the longest green kiss on a TV show. I love that they kissed for three and a half minutes and they celebrated with another kiss. That was amazing, guys. Good for you. Mike, thank you for being here. It was a pleasure. Congratulations, guys. You're not Guinness World Records holders. You guys are officially amazing. Wow. And Malik and Marilee, to make your Valentine's extra special, you are also getting a romantic two-night getaway into the Sonoma wine country, including a VIP tour at the Corbell Champagne at the California Champagne Cellars. And for breaking the record, Chapstick is giving you, believe it or not, enough Chapstick to last an entire decade. <laughs> 10 years of cake batter kissing from Chapstick. Everybody in the audience is gonna get a sample of the new cake-inspired flavors. Thank you, Chapstick. And Malik and Marilee still kissing. Still kissing. Who wants to go home? Thank you, Mike. Take a break. Be right back with more of Patty. Just this month, the makers of Chapstick debuted their limited edition Chapstick Cupcake Creations line with velvet cupcake and cake batter. These cake-inspired flavors are only available at Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens. They're sworn to protect. I'm your new commanding officer. Speech. That was my speech. They're ready to serve. Hey, welcome to the murder. They're dressed to impress. Your shirt looks like vomit. Good call. This fall. The next time I see you, I'd like you to be wearing a necktie. One office comedy doesn't go by the book. Hey, I like the tie. Let's pound it out. Everyone, get in here. Bring a camera. Brooklyn Nine-Nine premieres Tuesday, September 17th on Fox. Just broke the world record for kissing. It's Valentine's Day. We're with Patty Stanger from Millionaire Matchmaker. Question in the audience. Pop up. What's your name? I'm Jasmine. What's your question for Patty? My question. Hello, Patty. I love your show, by the way. You're awesome. Just want to say that. But um, my question for you, I got out of a really bad relationship, and I kind of wanted to get with the times and venture off into online dating. Mm -hmm. But it seems that the men that contact me you're only interested in hooking up that's so i want to know what about. i'm well, doing that's wrong not, that's not a bad thing that means you're very attractive okay. so let's look at it the positive way the second thing is what are you writing in your profile my profile doesn't um give that much information but i do okay. my pictures so, are so state, state what you want yes yeah, what's you want. the tips mm -hmm. when you say state what you want state what you want you're looking for a serious relationship that could potentially lead to marriage do only those so who far, want you will go that way do you go so far as to say if you're just looking for a hookup please don't call me yeah you can say that start at the bottom make it a big loud letters you know fat letters but you can say i'm seriously looking for a relationship um, that leads to marriage that I can grow old with. Only those guys are going to step into the light, and the ones that do, delete, delete, delete. Move on. Thank you, Patty. Well, you know, Patty, who doesn't love to receive jewelry for Valentine's Day? I love What it. woman doesn't? Every woman That's likes jewelry. That's the number one thing we all like. CJ Free Jewelry is giving everybody in the audience a limited edition charity bracelet with red silk and sterling silver beads. <laughs> It benefits the American Heart Association. Very nice then. Quick break, back with more Patty right after this. We want you to come hang with us at a taping of the Jeff Probst Show. I'm so happy. <laughs> 
tickets are free and you'll get the full VIP treatment in our one and only audience party room, including food, fun, and more. Right on. Yeah. So if you're going to be in the L.A. area, just go to jeffprobst.com and say yes to being in our live studio audience. Jeff Probst Show. <laughs> Patty Stanger talking about love and relationships. Uh, They're sworn to protect. I'm your new commanding officer. Speech. That was my speech. They're ready to serve. Hey, welcome to the murder. They're dressed to impress. Your shirt looks like vomit. Good call. This fall. The next time I see you, I'd like you to be wearing a necktie. One office comedy doesn't go by the book. Hey, I like the tie. Let's pound it out. <laughs> Everyone, get in here. Bring a camera. Brooklyn Nine-Nine premieres Tuesday, September 17th on Fox. So your show, Millionaire Matchmaker, it's on Tuesdays at 10, 9 Central on Bravo. What year is this? This is season six. Hopefully we'll have a season seven. And you just broke a record today. You can tune in to the new Guinness World Records Gone Wild series. Dan Cortez is hosting it. It airs every Thursday evening on True TV at 8 o'clock. And... Our audience today, because you guys are all single, and it's Valentine's Day, and we want to help you find love, Match.com, the world's largest dating site, is giving all of you in the audience a free three-month subscription to the site. That's the show. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for hanging.